And tonight on XCOM Retcons, unfortunately we do have some bad news. Uh, at the end of the last video we were looking through some things that happened at the end of the month there after the supply drop, um, you know, the dark events and uh, some other things that spawned kind of randomly. And um, we kind of called it quits there. I clicked through a few things and ended up skipping a few things that I can't go back to, like the XCOM are the resistance orders and a few other things like that, um, which yeah, just would have been problematic if we you know miss a whole month of that action. So uh, what I uh, did I do? I just called it for a night and I came back the next day, loaded it up, and unfortunately, it looks like the RNG has shifted a little bit. I didn't know that those are not like preceded um, in advance, so it does seem like just whenever that event occurs, it rolls the dice and figures out a new thing. So. Um, we're going to have a few things that are slightly different this time around, um, but, you know, we'll jump into it and see what happens. Um, so, we're still, you know, nothing has changed since the mission concluded from the last one. Simply, we went over to uh, connect with West Africa as our second connection, and I think this save happened right around when the resistance ring finished. So, we're going to take a look at that, and the missions, I believe, will be rolled right about now. So... The rewards may be slightly different, the risks, etc. may be slightly different. We'll have to take a look. ...are well equipped to track down the Chosen. Their knowledge will be invaluable... All right. So, as far as what we have now, we don't have the option to get another um, scientist, unfortunately. But getting an engineer is also pretty value, because I think we only have the one. And, you know, it it's going to be pretty slow going building all this stuff with one guy and digging deeper and deeper even with the help of most likely a workshop in the center um, so I could see this being pretty value dodge plus nine I'm not sure if this stacks with like the PCS if it does cool um, but I kind of like the mobility plus one better so probably I think the engineer is slightly better than the the scientist but the mobility is probably slightly better than the dodge at the end of the day um, you know we'll take what we can get um, and I guess this will make the Reapers happier influence flow is so what it says so you know we'll see as far as the skirmishes go they can um bring in a, a couple of people at least um to gain additional resistance orders and covert actions with the skirmishers which is kind of cool um to, to net co improve combat intelligence is still gonna be an option and it will give mobility to the soldier that's on it as well soldier can get wounded. Now we learned that we can't do both these at the same time, but we can do one back to back. Six days for this one, and twelve days for this one. And then also soldier bond. If you bring two soldiers, one of them gets mobility. Um, you could spend some money to resi re avoid wounding them, but at the end of the day, um, they have a, a bro moment here. Teamwork training. Pretty cool. I'm not sure how this is covert in any way. I'm not sure how it's skirmisher specific, but they got some some cones set up, <laughs> and they're ready to roll. Um, we're just going to start with Engineer, and then probably go into Combat Intelligence and go from there. Um, as far as who we're putting on the mission, I'm not going to spend any alloys. Is that 25 alloys? Who would do that? That's absurd. I only have 28, and I need at least like 10, 15 of them off the bat. Um, but yeah, um, we are going to have to put in two soldiers um, to gain an Engineer, and one of those soldiers to get plus 9 dodge. Um, now, Dylan Davis already had plus 9 dodge. I don't know if that continues to build in any way. Um, I'm not too sure. I don't want to... Yeah, I was going to put Endo on the mission to gain some experience in the, in the background. Give them a break if they're tired. Oh, so tired just doesn't want to go on the missions. Seems like it anyways. Like, they're not wounded, but they're not eligible, so that's interesting. Hmm. What's this? Plus 11, that's his CPS, right? I believe that's plus 11. Yeah, that's the CPS is here. So, that's not really too important. But, yeah. Um, we have to pick some mission. two soldiers to go on the mission. Um, there is a risk that one will get wounded. Um, it's a low risk, and honestly, I'm not too worried about it. Um, so, yeah, let's just get some, a couple people that maybe don't, we don't want to bring on a mission, like a, a squaddy. Like, one person will be important, we want to give dodge to. And the other is like, yeah, whatever works. Um, Mox is going to be kind of on the front lines here. I could see him giving him dodge being pretty value. 
He's mobile, but like he's definitely like not a stay back and do nothing kind of guy. He's definitely going to be pretty close to the action. So I could definitely see Mox being uh, a good option here. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Ranger with dodge seems pretty good. Like I said, uh, Specialist seems like a good option too. If she wasn't gravely wounded, I would probably send Hasegawa. She's actually having a pretty hard one after her encounter with the Chosen, but she's alive, which is more than we could say if we didn't make the right choice. I digress. I'm spending a lot of time on this. Let's go ahead and make some choices here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and select Mox to be the one with the dodge, and then a bit of a... Th oh, she's a specialist too. Yeah, we can help out these healers a bit. Because they're the one who's going to like, revive and stuff, so it's kind of important. Yeah. Okay, I didn't know I had a third specialist. That's awesome. And then, as far as who can go along, probably going to be bringing, if they're not too tired, Endo on another mission um, to continue to build them up, which means that Jackson is free for the moment. Yeah. No extra redundancies, so there we go. And there is a risk to be wounded, but that's how it be. Alright, that didn't take too long or anything. Uh, <laughs> sorry. We'll uh, try to speed things up here as we begin the, the remainder of the end of the month here. Supply drop in one hour. And let's go. Who is it? 287. All right. Then let's make it happen. All right. Chosen knowledge increase. Chosen can attempt to sa sabotage on the Avenger now at this rank. I don't think that popped up last time, but I might be wrong. Intense training. We want to try to kill her before she gets to train and increase her strength. And retribution, you know, it's going to happen. I think we're going to be okay. Alrighty. Now, as I believe I was saying before, this is pretty similar to what I had, actually. Cool, okay. The, I re did a reload, it showed completely different dark events, now it's showing this, which is not too far from what we were looking at. Collectors was on there, sealed armor I think is about as dangerous as whatever the other one was. So I'm going to go with the same logic I had before. Intel is valuable, I'm about to hit the black market, I'm going to try to make contact with Europe. like. I don't want to be burning intel on this hidden event, so I'm just going to try to can counter the hidden event, whatever it is, and uh, we'll see how that works out. Alright, do not hit continue on this, is what I've learned. Um, I don't even know what my options are. So, quid pro quo seems interesting. I can put that here, but I haven't raised influence enough with anybody else to do anything else. So, costs reduced. So, they c we need to spend intel, which we don't have that much of. Um, but if we could get like a, a key staff member or uh, upgrade, then that's pretty important. That being said, it's pretty steep to not have infiltrate. Um, those are pretty important too. That's not, I don't care about that too much and I don't care. I mean, it's nice. It's not bad, but like, I just, I don't plan on like keeping quid pro quo long term. I just want it for like the first couple of black market cycles because that helps a lot. Um, so we'll try it. I, I'm actually debating on just keeping Infiltrate. Um, but end of the day, we'll hope that we can get some influence with these guys and be able to put in a lot of stuff soon. I'm going to ignore that as it pops up. And, and it looks like that's it for the beginning, though of course more things are going to be happening very soon. We have to go get our supply drop. Um, so we either finish with the black market and then get our supplies, Sure. I mean, it's it's only 33 hours, right? If you've got the time, we have a little bit of a situation here. High priority. Resistance Operation. Operation Senseless Druid. That's a great name. Is this guy's nickname Ice Seekers? I mean, Volt is what she refers to him as, but like... What is this? Such a weird name. Recover resistance operative. So if we recover the operative, we get an engineer and 70 intel. Hell yeah, we're leaving right now for that. That's going to be perfect for our, our for everything. That's just exactly what we want. 
in so many ways. Please. Absolutely. High priority mission. This is going to be like a medium mission at least because the reward is great. Let's see. Moderate. Yeah, I guess that's the same thing. Um, so yeah, we get to decide who we're sending and we're going to be send sending the best we can. Um, so currently that looks like what we've equipped is basically the best we have. We do have the option of sending um, Silvio, which bo is bound with Outrider. And that could be a pretty good option. But we've already got a Grenadier on the mission. Not that, that we can't have two or anything. In fact, having two would in it really dramatically increase the amount of grenades we get to throw around. Which would be pretty cool. Um, so yeah, it basically comes down to do we want Mox or do we want uh, a bonded Grenadier? Um, wait, isn't Mox on the mission? I'm confused now. No, we set the the ranger, right? On covert action. Oh, we sent the specialist. Yeah, we changed our mind a lot. Sorry. All right, so as we are, Mox skirmisher is pretty cool. We didn't level up his skill yet because we're like thinking he might have better stuff. So he's not that much better than he was before. And he's in fact just a squatty versus a corporal. I would call this a high priority mission. These are great rewards to have at this stage of the game, I think. So I'm gonna go with these guys. We get the the bond mate. We get four grenades across the two of them, enabling me to focus on utility here. Um, and maybe Endo can tank up a bit. Let's see. Health is six. Yeah, it's a tough call. So auto loader. Blah 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 blah. blah. Um, yeah, we'll unequip whoever's in the barracks right now, and we'll see what we can do. So we're going to do double flashbang. Oh, we don't have two flashbangs. We never made a second one. Two double grenades, not bad either. Eight health with the PCS. That's nice to see. And we can swap his cannon over to a default. Bring that up for Blake Baldwin. Now, am I able to customize this character right now? Probably not. Let's check, let's check. We'll customize. All right, weapon. Had a request, we're putting it in. We're going orange. What color orange? There are many. Pick a number, any number. This one seems to fit pretty well though, 74. We'll go with 74, and then we'll give it the, the Tundra again. Well, that changes the color scheme quite a bit now, doesn't it? Hmm. A lot of good options, a lot of good options. Sh sh what is this word even? She, ma she mag. I don't know. Herod looks pretty cool, actually. I think I might go with that. We'll go there. And we'll move on. Because none of these things need to take 10 hours. Alright. We got a big reward on our hands. We got to make things happen. Let's say with these four in together, I'm comfortable giving Endo a nanoscale. I guess between the, the Claymore, we have like four frags, which is a bit extra compared to what we would need but I mean the alternative is to bring one smoke right unless we build another flashbang could build a flashbang let's check this cost on that oh mind shields I forgot about those forgot about those one sector corpse 45 supplies could be good yeah, compared to the plus one health, I, I think it's worth trying out. Um, so we'll try it here, where we have the extra space. And see what happens. Has a sound effect and everything. So yeah, feeling pretty good about this. Um, I'll probably pass the flashbang around and just have, like, double frags. Eh. We'll keep it as is. Let's go. Let's make it happen. It's a subway type plot and moderate difficulty with great rewards. We're rescuing an operative. Let's move out people.
VIP of some importance to the resistance was on an operation near the city center when Advent forces attacked and pursued them into the tunnels. Our information is that the VIP is currently hunkered down and we need to go in and lead them to safety. Stay alert and watch for enemy movement down there. The resistance VIP is hiding in the tunnels not far from your position. One of their field operatives is also on site to issue in the rescue. Firebrand is standing by, but be careful. We'll have limited opportunities to set up a viable extraction point down there. Alright, so we're gonna save so we don't lose anything that we just got we're able to get out of the stuff on the bridge. And we'll move out here. We're concealed. Let's check out the boundaries of the map a little bit. Far left. What the heck am I looking at here? Is this like underground kind of stuff? Okay. But yeah, that's basically the, the far end of the left. We're pretty close to the back right, basically. Yeah, we're basically spawning back right, and we need to go top left, mostly top. So, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, not, on the, not far corner, but definitely far side. Um, as far as high ground positions go, there's these little setups here. I haven't done too much subway, I don't think. I think there was the one level I did... Maybe the third mission was a subway type one, but maybe not. Not too familiar with these different things. Anywho, we do need to get moving. Um, we are concealed. Things can start happening in some way, shape, or form. So I think the first thing we'll want to do is see who can reach that wall and get them there. I think it's going to be That's affirmative. Dylan Davis taking point. Seeing nothing. Alright, from there we're just going to start moving this way, together, as one. Stay in the shadows, like a whisper. Um, this is a decent option too, but let's uh, try to see what we can go get to the left. He can double move if we feel like putting him out there. I don't think there's a chance that nothing's like something's gonna just pop out and see me there, so I can just move to a position like this. And even to here, honestly. Would be fine. And as such, we can just pop, pop, pop. Whatever that is, yeah. I mean, most things don't camp the very first double move, but we do see they're in that direction. Commander, remember, no matter how tough things get down here, we can't evac until we complete the mission. Hmm. So this is cover. Can't tell if this door is... There's... I don't think that there is a door there. I think it's just empty. Well, let's get some info. Bulk says I am to obey. Nothing, huh? So it's gonna be more over in this area. It's okay. That's just the. So I guess I'm wondering: Are the ones that are patrolling making noise, and the ones that are just chilling and passive are they silent? Could I just walk into a passive squad pretty easily? Hard to say. Okay, this is where we're gonna start doing the blue move stuff. Try to keep it quick, but Overwatch all. I'm expecting to encounter them pretty soon. Moves. But I guess if we're just able to get to the VIP and focus on that, that might be a better idea. I guess they can die in the firefight, but I'd rather them not find him before we're able to kind of help him out, right? Okay, can we take a high, higher position here? Interesting. Dangerous if we go too far. We can always pull back with our second move. Let's have somebody that can only take the blue, like the wall, the first wall, if anyone. Okay, yeah. So, who's this? Oh, that's her. No, anybody else can take. can move anywhere near as far as she can. Why is she so special? Okay. So, it's literally just her. 
that can go straight up out to here, which would be a great position to hold if it's not lethal. And I'm not seeing too many like high ground holding points that I'm worried about. So let's try it out. Moving as ordered. Nothing. Okay. That's good intel. Um I think we'll definitely have her bondmate Silvio hang out here as well. Make sure nothing shows up. Looks clear. And the rest can move up into this position. Good copy. Moving on target. Boots on the ground. Boots on the ground. Is there any other good positions? Not seeing anything. Just hold here. That's not what I wanted. You, the button's changed. There we go. Now they said they I should be able to find a resistance soldier along with the VIP, so that will help us fight as well if we are able to kind of make the distance happen. But again, can't be too careful. Trying to force things is not going to always work out the way you want. What is that? What is that? You have eyes on Advent and Mech. Micro missiles. A mech's shoulder mounted missile launcher can volley a salvo of missiles that deal high damage in a small area. How is that different from a grenade? We'll see. It's used as a mean to fire and poison. Not that big a deal. Um has two armor is probably the most important thing, so I'm glad we have two shredders on this mission. We need to shred this guy, whether it be a grenade or something else. Does it see any farther? It looks like they have a pretty good sight lined up over this way. Um, so 75, 4 to 6 plus 2, so can definitely one-shot basically our whole team um, under the right circumstances, but ideally we're not letting them crit us in any capacity. Um, 14 mobility is also important to know. So, keep in mind. Um, yeah, I've learned not to rush these things too much. We could take like a, a high fortified position here. Silvio might not be able to reach there, but we can do something like this. And just hold up for a little bit. And, and build up what we can. And they shouldn't be revealing us anytime soon, so... In fact, this is a functional position. As long as they're not flanking from like over here, as long as they're not wall patrolling all the way to here, I th then they're not gonna see him. So this seems like an okay idea. There's a chance. I mean, this is just better, right? Let's just do that. He can't see them now, but they're walking towards us, it looks like. Unless they're not, which, um, you know, hard to say. I'd say if we're planning an ambush, this actually seems like a pretty great position. The problem is if there's more that we haven't scouted out, because Dragonova was able to see them, but you never know what's well, just around the river bend. I think we've got a pretty good idea, though. Who else could we... Ooh, Endo could take a flank there. I like that. I like that a lot. Good. All right. Nice and quiet. So here, they shouldn't be able to flank, and therefore they shouldn't be able to reveal, even if they come this direction a bit. So I like this position overall. Could also be up top and have three people up top. That uh, height advantage is, is not to be underrated. It would put me in half cover. I'm not sure if there's an innate amount of value of... Oh, wait, he's got the missiles that hit an AoE. I really don't want to clump that much. Um, and up here doesn't look like it's super viable. It's not giving me shields to show me that this is half cover for some reason. Oh, these are like fortified? Oh yeah, so this isn't, if it doesn't have the boards up, it's not half cover. Got it. We'll just take what we we're kind of expecting, which is this position here. Should be pretty good. Um, yep, so just overwatching here. Overwatching here. And last, but definitely not least, we've got a couple right here. A little risky, moving them to this position. But we gotta hit those, get those shredder hits in, so I think this will work out just fine. He 
Here they come. Oh, perfect. That's exactly what I want to see. All right. I think we're all ready to go. The red dots are, are flying all over us, so they can't see up top very well. Can he see? He can only see that, but if he's throwing a frag grenade, that doesn't matter too much, right? He can still launch anywhere we want in this area. So this would be a good way to start. It doesn't let us kind of scout further in to see if there's anybody else on our way to this guy, but it is just nice and clean. And then we can always use the Outrider to scout with her um, shadow ability. So I like all this. Um, I think it's just overwatch time across the board. Um, not a, it, It's not bad. It's not a bad overwatch. Oh, I think that's why I would want the Overwatch Others button. Oh, that makes so much more sense now. It's okay. Alright. Frag grenade time. Let's melt some armor. Shredded one, negated one. Here we go. Advent Mac. All right, looking cool. All right, sectoid down, but that mech is going to be f still one armor, and leaping like a bullfrog. Oh, okay. What? Where did? Th Okay, I um did not think it was possible for him to show up in Africa. That's usually used as a hyperbole, but he's literally in Africa, coming from what was the eastern North America. So that's interesting. But yeah, um he's brutal, so he's his attacks decrease the will of any soldiers within sight. But he keeps a low profile. His defense is increased after the first attack of every turn. So, I guess the first attack will always be normal, and then this, every attack after that will be uh, reduced damage or reduced likelihood of hitting. Well, I'm glad we got a good squad, because the only thing is we didn't bring a good adversary for him. I didn't predict that there was any chance we would be facing him, so Mox is not on the mission, but he, Mox would be great um, in this case, being able to attack him twice and doing increased damage. Um, but yeah, uh, he does have a weakness, taking additional damage from oh, more than three at attacks, three or more attacks in a single turn. So while he does keep a low profile and he gets more defense after the first attack, if we are able to hit with attack number three or more, he is going to be pretty overwhelmed at taking additional damage. Terrifying, though. He looks like a spellcaster guy. He's got 25 health. He's got an armor. And he's chasing us. Interesting. Is he gonna turn and shoot? Oh no. I don't like that. Oh, uh, fall damage as well. Really? Hunker down on a structurally unsound space. Alright, so here we are. We know he's... I wish I know exact details, but he's coming from this direction. He looks like he's got some spells, maybe some melee. So I would equivocate him to like the, what I've seen of the Templar. Just not that much. We definitely, since uh, our other grenadier is out of commission, we definitely want to take this armor down. So I think that's going to be Baldwin's uh, claim to stake. And I think this is going to be a good shot if I just take this. Now, there's no such thing as flanking these guys. They're al always armored, but their cover is still going to be kind of variable. Either way, this should be a good place to shoot, so we're going to go for it. And hopefully we don't activate any more pods as we try to address this chosen threat. 
Now, I believe I do have an option of revival protocol taking panic away. It negates negative mental status effects, but I don't think that's as important right now um, as a few other things I could be doing, like the gremlin heal, which does not end my turn. So, yeah, I'm going to heal here. And then I probably need to save my other one for a stabilize. But, yeah, we're going to heal him up, putting him at 5 HP. And then we need to actually get the ranger in position to fight this warlock. Outrider can scout him out a bit. She's still in stealth, which is great. Um, I don't think she's going to take a flank here, but, um, you know, if I am exposed, I can always move, assuming I'm not literally on top of him, which I don't think I am. All right interesting position to be find ourselves. Now I wonder why all of us didn't overwatch. Is it because they ran this way and so they, some of them just didn't have the angle um, to use our overwatch? I'm not sure. But yeah, Endo should be moving out which means our only real remaining option is Dylan Davis to take up the loot that we want to try to bring back home. This is a bit more exposed than this as far as line of sight goes. Um slightly closer to, you know, being involved in the potential warlock fight, but yeah, I'm assuming he's got some spells and we got some concerns. Advent stock and advent data pad for what those are worth. Alright, so time to get Endo in position. Not that I want to be going toe to toe with this guy, but you know, we need everybody in in firing position and she needs a little bit more time to get there. Um, yeah, I think it's a bit risky to go anywhere else. She's pretty mobile, and he's coming to us, as far as I can tell. Um, I believe he's in here, in this space. But, let's see, she's seeing down this line, and there's there's nothing here, right? There's, there's no way he's, like, hiding in a corner. So I don't think there's any way he's anywhere but this space. Um, I don't know his movement. But I know that his movement patterns will put not put him be unlikely to put him in a pattern uh, location where he's doing anything. He could definitely flank here, right? Oh. Oh, it's just a loud door. Okay. Yeah, he could barge through here as well. I don't want to yellow move in concealment, but I also want to get intel. Yeah, it's kind of a du double-edged sword of understanding how this flanked and close proximity stuff works for the site. I'm going to go ahead and reposition over here. I don't think it's too aggressive. It might be too passive, but we'll see. There he is. Okay. Wait, what? All right. We can't not just sit here. We have to... Yeah, zombie showed up. Now you're good. Alright, so we got this fella. What do we see here? Well, let's see. Somebody has line of sight on him, right? Okay. So this is a spectral rupture. Self-destructs. Moves 15. So I think we have to die, kill this thing before it blows up. Um, so pretty high priority target. But we're running dry on ammo over here. And we don't have a line of sight. Bianchi is in a better mood. But still won't be able to see this thing easily. We can use our target preview to f determine LOS. Right here would apparently aggro a pod that doesn't see us right now. But I'm not too concerned about that. We need to get him involved. So he'll move over. Apparently that did nothing. The exclamation point didn't mean much. So as far as this thing, it doesn't seem to have much in terms of defenses. It's just my aim and etc. But 80% is not that bad. And we bring it down. So. I don't know what that means, but um, unless you're implying there's literally no other advent here, but I don't think that's the case. 
I think he's got some friends. So he's in some long hallway. It looks like down this way. Maybe trying to get us to kind of all... Um, what should we call it? Um, clump up. I think it is time for At Outrider to scout out a bit more. I go where I'm see if she can see anything. They have a patrol here. Great to know. Good info. So she has line of sight on one. They're all guarding the VIP. Not necessarily to take him down, because they, he's hunkered down and he's not a prisoner. But they are uh, in that area. Hmm. I feel like getting in close to this door is going to be important. And in theory, shouldn't expose us too much. Just but I'm not sure. Yeah, I think she can kind of barge in there next turn if we want to try that. We need everybody else to set up quick. Hmm. So this would be exposed. That also means that we're pretty close to them if we are in this general area. Which sounds good to me. But it also might be exposing more tiles over here, right? So maybe we just fight what we know, which is right around here. There's a train, subway, whatever. Um, this, this could be lethal for one of our guys. Like, absolutely could be. We have to be careful. At the same time, I kind of want to just move up to a good position and, and let her do her thing. I think this door opens up my terms. I'm going to risk it a bit. Forgot that I have um, an extra action between these two, which is great. And with Silvio still up, I have an extra action for the other two as well. With that in mind, she should try to make sure she's a little bit closer to Silvio, who is over here. Because right now, it says it still works, but you never know. She should be fine here. So we won't have sight on them anymore, but we know she, they're right across from her. Oh, I think I gave her the Reaper passive. Shows an action. What's he doing? What was that sound? He's walking. Okay, good. Good to know at least. Not necessarily a good thing for him to be closer to this battle if we have to fight. But I don't think we're going to be able to fight the Chosen without getting our hands a bit dirty. So r the reason I can see her is this um, ability from the Reaper. It's pretty cool. It's called Target Definition. Any unit seen by Reaper remains permanently visible. So we know where the squad has moved for the most part. The question is what we do with that information. Now, I'm theorizing that if I... Oh, because she doesn't see the target. So I just have to open the door and see what happens right after that. Um, let's see who we can move up to be in... Um, so, I mean, maybe he should just stay up top. I'm not sure how to take this fight, guys. This is where my experience, I feel, is lacking. Like, I could take this approach and scare them from the right side. I think that's kind of nice. Do I grenade? try to find a way to grenade them before they can even see me, just based on the, the position that I do now? I don't think that's possible. Unless I'm standing out in a weird, weird position. And that's not that bad. And then you get a frag across multiple targets. I pro I feel like I shouldn't have pulled her here, but I don't really know what else to do. <sighs> Paralyzed. If the Chosen wasn't here, I wouldn't be taking this long, but I want to be like in perfect condition to fight this Warlock. If you can kill him here and now, that would be so huge. But I'm imagining that he's the kind that would withdraw after taking some hits. I'm worried if I send um, my Grenadier out here, Baldwin could take this position, send out a frag, it, it sounds really good. I'm just worried. It, I'm just worried. <laughs> 
And I think that there's these guys could still technically see from here. Like, I, we know that the yellow highlighted guy can see here. We're not sure about this. And this guy's so far away. Do we hold that? But the, every turn the Chosen gets closer. Because he's active and he knows we're here. So I think we're on a timer whether we like it or not. And I think if we're going to make something happen, it's going to be this. Good luck. What's your line on this frag? Doesn't look good. Doesn't look good at all. <sighs> Shoot. Do not like that one bit. Alright, then we're going to move this, use this as a turn not to make some noise, but to move into position to be ready for a big fight. And we hope that it doesn't start without our consent. <laughs> um... Here, so if we overwatch here just to be reliable, I think we're just going to reload, though. Even if it's one. Even if it's a single shot. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to pray this fight doesn't start with out of our, our say-so. That said, um... Yeah. Can we just put the rookie behind? They seem to come in this direction, so here seems fine. Not rookie, but ranger is what I meant to say. I think this should be okay. We'll see. This guy's got to move hard. Where is he going? Oh, I didn't check for um, some remote starts, but it looks like there's nothing in the area. That would have been a good intel as well. Dude, this guy's just got to move somewhere. I know there's not really good options, but like... Come on. He can't stay back there. Even if he's a scaredy cat. This is going to be your best bet. Let's go. I mean, he did get grenaded and fall to the floor. I can understand him being scared. Ooh, a claymore trap? I like that. Is that her... How many actions? She has one more action after that? Okay. Does this end turn? It doesn't. I like that. That's a good claymore. That's, yeah, that's like, this is where you want to use it. It's like where you can prep it before a combat counter breaks out. Very, very sneaky. And then I think we're okay with just her chilling out right here. This gives her a lot of flexibility with her movement speed. And it's time to reload or overwatch. I think it's it's an overwatch for her. She's more in a position to take a shot if they open the door. Scanning. Oh, but if they open the door, it's on Baldwin. Oh, no, 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 no. We can't do that. Um, yeah, he's got to reposition to a safer spot. Even if it's not that much safer. Oof. Yeah, I just don't know the mechanics well enough to be confident in any of the moves. You can't make it to this pillar. That would have been okay. He's pretty tanky. We have to respect he has 8 HP. He's not going to just get dropped. I don't want him like in an irrelevant position where he can't do anything. So we're going to... Well, our two options are either reload, which is maybe the better option, or to hold this cover. Like if they aggro... Like my worry is they... Um, the, they the pod opens up and then they move into here in our fire position. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and reload. He needs the, the shredder shots. It's risky. I don't know enough about the game to be sure if this will work out, but let's hope. Patrol pattern moves forward. What? They're just chilling? I, I agonized over this decision and they're just chilling? Alright, um... Dragonova. So if I open this door, do they see anything? Well, I don't want to stand my own claim more, but I'm curious about that. Alright. So, 
Is there a way for me to gr get a grenade out to a position where... So if I do a teamwork action after, I could like put him in a weird spot, throw the grenade, and then take him out of the weird spot. But at the end of the day, it feels like if I'm going to have line of sight on this guy, if I'm going to have grenade line of sight, I'm just going to have that overall. I don't know if I'm saying words anymore. Well, we're all moved up now. We're all ready to rock and roll. The question is who starts the fight? Who starts the party? It's happening this turn. She's in stealth. She never left it, I guess. <sighs> what do we do? Is there any really strong position that we're like, oh, we want to hold this spot? This is not bad. Though it does come with risks. From the side. And then, yeah. Follow from there. Yeah, I think that is probably going to be our best bet. Because it's one move. This would be good because it's two moves. But yeah, I can... I just run for the VIP, easy. Nah, um... Going for it. Let's see what happens. Is it, in like, Overwatch is, is only good, really good against concealment. I think we re play reactionary after we aggro. Let's go. Could be stupid. Could be very stupid. But it looks like pretty good right now. I like, I'm actually, dude, is he on the nade? Okay. And it's gonna, it's gonna kill him and break a bunch of cover, so we have flanking positions? Who breaks this nade? That's sick. Um. Wow, they did not know what they were getting into aggroing on him. That's actually perfect. Wow, I, I know I've just stood here for like the past ten minutes, but I'm actually really happy with how that played out. Oh, now we got like shotgun flanking positions. Can go here if we're feeling lucky. Very spooky. Who breaks? Feels like kind of wasting a shot to break the claymore, but it's killing a guy for sure. So yeah. Like everybody's in a good spot to effectively do that. The only person who isn't in a great spot right now is Dylan, and that's fine. I'm, I have so many different options running through my head, so I'm like, okay, I could frag here, break that cover, and then that would be an easy kill cleanup for Davis. Um... Of course, we can break that. What can Dra Dragonova still in concealment for the moment, but won't be for forever. Toolbox. I think it's going to be Sylvia that takes the shot. Let's see if how we started that way. Let's see how it changed things. Alright, so that is fire, right? So if she runs through that, or she just can't, she literally can't run through this space now. I would have thought a Claymore would do the opposite, but you know. Alright, so that changes my perspective on how great that was, but it's okay. Oh, target preview is going to help if I can find a good position where I have line of sight. But I'm not seeing it right now. Without getting my hands very dirty. Yeah, she's out of the fight, basically. I'm not seeing anything from her. Of course, she can get the free action and take the shot, and it's probably important we do that. But, yeah. Alright, I'm thinking take cover, frag grenade. Hitting on two, breaking cover, it looks like on two, at least on one. I like that shot. Oh boy, he blew it up. Oh, okay, this is pretty easy cleanup from here on out, even without Ryder out of the picture. As long as we don't miss key shots, that's kind of the important thing. Okay, so three to five on him versus on him. Basically the same situation, slightly better percentage. Let's go. 85. 
All right. Um, and then we can just kind of take this position here and go for the the shot, or do we go for the the sword, swordy blast, three to five damage on sword. Um, what's her weapon damage? I wish I knew this stuff off the top of my head. Um, hmm. I think this is fine. I mean, he's he's out no cover, like three away. Free, we can use a free action, worst case, right? 99% hitting 4 to 6. Let's go! Give me that kill. Alright, and this would be a good position for Outrider. Moving very close to the VIP. What we're here for, right? You oh boy, he's here. Your forces will perish, and you will I do not. Okay, do we have a line of sight? I want to know what this guy can do. There we go. That's what I need. Oh, okay, we he has, he can do a lot. Not a lot of damage just based on his random basic attack. Actually, two to four plus two is and not as scary as the sword. Not nearly. But twenty-five health, one armor, kidnaps a unit. Is he just going to come in here, literally just like grab somebody and teleport out? Oh, he's not here to kill me. He's here to just screw with me, is what it implies. Um, Mind control, I mean, his passes are getting in the way of, of his active ability, so I can't really tell for sure. But it... Looks like he has just kidnap, extract, and mind control. But he's just summoned a, a zombie, so he's got a lot of stuff, most likely. Um, skirmishers is his weak point, but we don't see that. It says he has high cover. I guess that's from the position that he's in. Outrider's still in concealment. Pretty good shot on him, though. I think we want to try to break his armor if we can. The question is how. Um, it says target preview is in range. Flanked position. Shred at 79. Let's go. Alright, he's shredded. Does he retaliate somehow? Yeah, that's kind of what we're here for. So now he gets a lot more defense. Look at this, negative 20%. That's a tough one. Silvio's nowhere to be found. Can maybe grant her an extra turn. Oh, because he can't get through this nonsense. I want him in the fight. I'm just trying to figure out how to get him there. Because... <laughs> Like, if I could just get some flashbangs on him, that would be great. But there's no cover here. This is like a partial wall. It's really awkward. This Claymore did not do accomplish exactly what I expected. That's okay. We'll just do the double move here and make something happen with him next turn. Alright, three plus attacks equals pain for him. And flanking is still flanking, so it's pretty decent shot. Pretty decent shot. Oh, we like it. Nine damage. Dude, that absolutely blasts him. What's he going to do to the VIP? Should I be trying to get this guy out of here? I feel like I should, even if it does reveal me. But if he's melee and trying to kidnap. Wait, what's his... Yeah, what's the stats again? So his mobility is 15. And then he can do a one-action kidnap move. And then he can extract 
the person the next turn, most likely. Mind control is also problematic. Um, hmm. What are we doing? On your order. So he's not in range, but what he can do is use teamwork we will overcome. on Baldwin. Which will allow Baldwin to make one extra move. Could be a shot. Could be a grenade. Hmm. So this is 59%, but it will activate his like plus three. Oh yeah, it's six says six to nine right now, right? Which I don't think is default, but I might be wrong. Bewildered, yeah, so it's already showing the plus two. So do I do a three to four frag and break the walls a bit? Or do I just take the shot? Bewildered it up. I think this is better. I wish, I thought I had another move action actually, but I guess he moved up to do the grenade, so. Or do the shot. Does miss that one, that's fair. That's, that's okay. We could bring Silvio, and nah, that's not gonna happen. So it really comes down to, do we risk the VIP by not activating him in any way? And in doing so, risk Dragonova getting kidnapped. Or killed, in theory. I don't know crap about these guys. I think I'm gonna go in. She's got how much health? Six health. I don't think she dies one shot from this guy, but we'll see. I am trusting you. The shadows save us. Oh my. That was a bad play, apparently. Man, I don't know these objectives well enough. It's a really good likely shot though. Four to six. Takes ha maybe half his health away. And a good crit chance too. Let's get a crit. Oh, six damage. We'll take it. Good roll. Good roll. Alright, where am I going? Turns until extraction. Alright, so... Yeah, he's hiding. We got bogeys on the right and left. Um, I think his best bet is going to be over here. It's either on. Yeah. This is going to be pretty good. Okay, I did not know it would spawn enemies, though. I'm curious to see what this guy does now. All right, this isn't... Nope, okay. It's not great at all. Yep, 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 yep. All right. That's fair. What you doing, bud? I don't think that's gonna help you. We're here to kill you, or you're here to die, one way or another. Wait, that's not what I ex expected. What did you just do? Yourself, Special army? No so what did he just do? Somebody got eyes on him? Please tell me what the status is of this fellow. Here he is. The Warlock summons ghostly guards to defend him. While those guards still live, the Warlock remains in stasis and vulnerable harms. Ends on the start of Alien's turn. Three turns remaining. Oh, no. So, three turns remaining. Hold position till evac is available. They're getting reinforcements every turn. This guy's self-stunned himself for three. There's no way to break it, it looks like. Can 
Can we see that again? I thought, thought I had more detail. Oh, so he's grayed out. Like, he's just straight up. Isn't an option because of this. Like, it shows 53%. Okay. Yeah, he's in stasis. Um, it said three turns somewhere in there. I can't see it now, but that sucks. Six out of 25. And now we're getting flanked on all sides. If we hadn't activated this dude and he just ran and hid, we could just wait this out. Now we're, like, fight in a fight for time. Brutal. All right. Manana. Kato Manana. Is this uh, affiliation with the, the fellow from earlier? Hard to say. All right. Well, I do think that Flashbang would be a pretty good option to consider. I want to see what's going on with this right flank as well. So I could see this being just a pretty close to a kill. Yeah, we gotta turn around and see what we can do. Who are the threats is what I have to calculate, I think. And how do we get to them? So the more enemies... If we can take them as they're coming in, we can still get this chosen down. I didn't... I think that might be asking too much, but, you know, we could try it. <sighs> Just a little bit slow to be able to make a good shot. Could still hit the... Wait, what about the sword? It's out of cover, so it's not a good idea. But technically can go for the sword here. How much damage does a sword slash do? Oh, what? You can do it from here? That's not out of cover. 91, 6 to 8 damage. That's with the plus 3 vulnerability factored in. I'm going to go for that. And then maybe we can grenade. Well, maybe we grenade soften, and then we do the slash after. Where is my grenadier? So he doesn't have a frag, actually. The only frag is over here. It's our launch pattern. Oh, that's not the right guy. Make sure we're using the right unit. So I think we can get these two down, and then we just have to worry about our far flank. So where can Baldwin move right now? We've already used our teamwork ability, so he's not going to move too far. Could move here. Is that close enough, though? I'm not sure that it is for the frag that I'm looking for. Feels like it's got to be here. Which will cover flanks once uh, these two are cleared out. Oh no, it needed to hit the sectoid. It needed to hit the sectoid. Well, it's still guaranteed, nearly guaranteed on this guy. Not that Dragonova couldn't have handled it. Yikes. Alright, we'll use the frag. We gotta recover the flank position. Three is not great. Wow, that it's just a 50-50. Sometimes you don't hit the dice. It's okay. She's got a flank on him. Let's look at Endo's move. Endo has the opportunity to slash attack from a few angles. That does, with the vulnerability, 6 to 8 damage compared to the shotgun's 4 to 6. I think the shotgun can crit and the sword can't, but I'm, I don't know really. Um, this guy feels a little useless, but if he can do teamwork, maybe not so. If he can move here and still do teamwork, or he can grant it right now, that'd be great. And then she can go for two shots, Dragonova can, which is pretty important right now. Yeah, I think if I'm going to use a teamwork round, it's going to be this one. Why does that happen? Is it just I'm just bugged whenever I use teamwork? Please. Okay, so save and reload, obviously. It's kind of annoying, but not that big a deal. Oh, I want this chosen down. It would be so sick to just have him walk in and send him packing the first time we meet him. 
So this is get out of <laughs> go back to your own country. Oh, that'd be great. But it's spawning two guys per turn, and that's pretty hard to keep that under control. Like we can run and keep ourselves alive, but all right. So she has three moves. She has a shot on him, and theoretically a shot on him, though it might have to be a move. But the thing is, this does this still ends turn. So maybe I'm supposed to act with her and then teamwork, and it will give another ability that unends the turn. And if that's the case, I've I screwed up. I don't know. I'm still gonna go for the sh the the slash. And if this guy has to run over and take a shot, maybe that's what happens. But I'm gonna go for a slash on the sectoid. That's a hit. That keeps it clean. I did not know about this guy. All right, Outrider, show us what you got. So, threats. What's this guy do? 3 to 4, plus 2, mobility 15, Spectral Army Lance. Spectral Army Lance. Don't like that. And that's most of what we know at this point. So, this position would be on a flanked target. Should be a decent shot, even with the distance factored in. But yeah, we now have two exposed. It's like it's like playing chess, and we just uh, we start just hanging pieces more and more and more. Why not get three flanked characters? Why not? Well, this guy's injured. That's why not. But it's pretty rough either way. I mean, then we're flanked from two sides. Yeah, it's kind of cornered because we're fighting two fronts. And like, if I'm taking this cover, I'm losing this cover. Both are really important. Technically, these guys are closer, but this these guys can get in range. I think. Maybe not. It's rough. Alright, let's take our shot. 100%, 98%. This guy does 3 to 4 damage plus 2. This guy does only 3 damage plus 1. So he's not even that threatening if we have to leave him alive. Take the shot here. Nice crit. Back to the shadows. Wait a... Th oh my gosh, I'm so... I didn't understand, guys. I didn't understand. Oh no. Oh, what do I do? Oh. Dude, I, f I feel like somebody's yelling at me from the inter across the internet right now. I didn't know that's what the... How am I supposed to know? He was invisible the last time he summoned a guy. Flashbang? Fr from from a mile away. I could flashbang him. I could do it. He's got to do something. This is the answer. Alright, well now we know how to get rid of his Kage Bunshin no Jutsu. And we know how to put ourselves at great risk by engaging over here. Like, we're, abs we're absolutely going to get shot in the back if we take that position, right? Ugh, I feel like somebody's gonna die next turn, and it's gonna be based on a decision like this. But I made many of these decisions. I'm hanging three pieces. We're not going out for that. We're gonna go for the 74%. Uh, yes, okay. Alright, so now he's in good flank cover, and we have a flashbang on... Bane over here. And we can flashbang them, but this stops abilities too, as far as I understand it. And that would be sweet. And also reduces their movement speed, so. And doesn't hit allies. I've learned a few things from YouTube, and I feel like flashbang's the play here. He's immune, okay. Okay, okay. Makes sense. I wouldn't want people to just spam flashbangs on my super enemies too. So that's, uh, that's how it'd be. Um, I don't like what's going on in various capacities. 
we're in a tough spot. How much HP does this guy have? Five? He's not here for the little boy. This was bait for him. Oh, I wish I could just jump on a super uh, repair subway. Wait, there is there's a ladder. It's just not in his range. That's a sick spot if I had used this position better. But too late now. Um, I can't believe I didn't realize that would take him out of stasis. That's so painful. I didn't even know that guy, the stun lancer existed. Yikes. Just yikes. I think if he's just back here, he's out of line of sight of everybody. But this is fine too. Who's gonna die? Let's see it. Four troops over there. Oh boy. All right, we took the right cover. Heavy fire in this zone. That doesn't mean we're clean. Oh, okay, okay, okay. What's he gonna do? Mind Scorch? I only have four HP, no! What? Day six? I can't, he's, I don't have a revive on any other character. Alright, so he's dazed and now vulnerable and flanking position. Whole position turns into extraction one. More reinforcements coming down here, right next to Endo. Speaking of Endo, she's gonna Endo this guy's career. Um, you got the sword slash option. 91%. Not bad. But these guys, when they aggro, don't seem to be able to take shots. I can't tell for sure, but I don't think so. Hard to say. I mean, they definitely moved up, right? So I think they could if they had good shots. Whatever. This guy's going down. I'm and I'm more worried about actually what's going on over there than what's falling down right here. Four to six damage. This guy's got six health. So my options are Sword Slash for three to five. 99% four to six. Big crits, big crits. Let's go! Bring him down. He's... 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 Okay. So, what happens? Hurt? How do we kill them? We have to like do the hunting missions stuff? Okay. Let's not worry about that right now. We did a good deed. We have to, we have to take solace in the good deed we did. And now see what we can accomplish with Silvio still in literally West Africa. What is he doing? He can get a flank on this guy, right? No? Where's his cover? Oh, he's got like a little cage around him? Stupid. How do you not flank him? There's gotta be some flank positions. They're just bad positions for him to take, right? Alright. Anyone? Like, he's. He feel, it feels like he should have the best position. He's right here. They haven't even looked at his direction. He's a little panicky, but. He's got full cover right there. So close to a good spot, but this is not a flank somehow. How is this not flanking him? Am I missing something? Is this not the cleanest shot? Like, you just like put yourself in a first person shooter. You're playing Halo, you're playing Call of Duty, whatever. You're sitting on these barrels and you shoot this guy. Hello? This is a bot. Like, come on. Ugh, okay. Okay. I think the more interesting turn is going to be um, Dragonova's. She's got some distance from this engagement. She could technically just overwatch for spawns, but 
Don't necessarily like that idea. She does not have range right now. Shadow, I don't think is going to really help here. Reload's going to be necessary very soon as well. I've definitely wasted that teamwork stuff, unfortunately. There's a lot of things that I'm learning every single mission. Just little details here and there. Um, am I healing anybody? Oh, I'm dazed, aren't I? Oh, it, it canceled the daze by killing him. Okay, that's actually nice. What a... I'm still panicking. I'm still, like, taking a long time to think. Reload and take a shot. 56, 56, 38. Not great shots. Reposition and take a shot. Doesn't change much. Just slightly better weapon. Ooh, but I think... Do I still have two? I have one action because I was dazed. I was going to say I could move up and get a really good, like, flanky kind of thing. We'll just see what happens here. Low cover. Take the shot. Not a kill, but still some good damage. Silvio, please, do something. You really just gonna do this? So, 34%. At this point, you might as well just reload and, again, continue to not do anything. A little sad about it. At least it means they can't push up as hard because they don't want to get flanked. Wait, are you kidding? Alright, he's gonna overwatch and cover aggressive movement, and that's it. Um, this is pretty bad cover for uh, Baldwin. If we can move him at all, that would be great. This is not bad, but is very susceptible to being flanked. I'm wondering if there's anything better. I'd l I like this. It's not best, but we're not actually trying to win this position. We've already gotten what we came here for. So I think this is okay. Just to play like a defensive position. That's what we should be doing now. We should realize the Chosen's dead and start playing a defensive position. And, you know, we'll take some shots where we can, but that's not our goal. Misses. That's okay. Okay. Last two. So actually, this guy's way too up. Like, if I just ran back to this pillar, I'd feel so much better about this situation. So we got spawns here. We're all going to need to group up for an evac. And I think... Um, if I can take out one more, I'll feel a lot more comfortable. So let's just see if we, there, we have a way to do that. It's either going to be here or up here. I think up here is fine. Volk says I am to obey. The time for hiding is over. Ugly. Whatever. We'll just do it. Unless, yeah, don't. I think Overwatch is better than shooting into high cover, personally. But I might be wrong on that. I know there's a penalty. No, and there's no crit chance at all. But I feel that it has a tactical benefit of changing how the enemy moves, and yeah. Anyways, we're all in grouping range to just run together and evac. We'll see if there's oh, these guys can do anything. I think their action is spawning in technicality, but I don't know. Come on, come on. we done. That was close. You will never hide from me. Oh. Well. Firebrand is in position for the extraction. We got get panic. Get any worse. Yeah, where are you, where are you extracting exactly? So the set point yeah, it is. Um, yeah, things are worse. But 
We can manage most of it. <sighs> the mission's not over. We gotta... There's that will be time to mourn later. For right now, we take our shots and we get everybody out next turn. I believe he can get in right now. I don't believe there... Oh, there is Overwatch. Who's overwatching? Is it... That guy. So, how many targets do I actually get to work with? Endo, Dragonova, that's it. So one of them's panicked, one of them's berserk, two of them are acting. Now this guy can't kill with his overwatch, so we can bring a wounded VIP out. I don't think they'll dock me for that. What's important is that he lives. Right? Um, yeah, this guy's got three plus one damage. So I think my VIP will live. If that's the only overwatcher and I'm not an idiot. So, we're going to run him here. We're going to try to evac him out. Nice. Oh boy. Time to get the rest of the squad out of there before they get overrun by those damn things. So yeah, we can do a sword attack. That doesn't require a reload. Probably best to do it on this guy. And the Dragonova can handle this guy. She's out, so she's reloading and taking a shot. Give me a minute. Who she shoots is gonna be why she can't she hit the guy behind her? Surely she can see the guy behind her. Here he is. Okay, 63. So if she shoots that, they're not going to be flanked as hard. And we can go from there. And then we take the slash attack on this guy. Just technically can do it on that guy. I don't know. Do I want his loot, right? I mean, what is, what is he carrying? He's got a a random upgrade. He's got a med kit. It's not worth another soldier dying for that. Not a long shot. Let's just get the hell out of here. Oh, I'm gutted, man. That hurts. We took out the the big threats. I knew it was gonna be a tough one. And now we got a whole group leaning down on us. Please unpanic. Even then, can he even get there? With the panic? I bet he's gonna have to like dash through like five over what? Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. She's fine, she's fine. There's no way. Guys, clear your heads, please. Alright. Okay, he's gonna run through Overwatch multiple times, most likely. I don't even think I put him in this room. Like, is his movement speed full? Because this doesn't even feel good. He can't even get, like, halfway there in the open room. I'm thinking I'm going to straight up push him around everything if there's an extra entrance here. But if there's not, then what's the point of it? Yeah, there's, so there's this entrance here. So I think I'm going to try to run him from there. Um, and there's a chance Baldwin might need to take the same route. Um, yeah, I don't think it's super clearly, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Yeah, I mean, if they're all camping this area, it could be a very tough run-in, but... 
Maybe he just goes out in the open. They certainly can see him from, like, here, if I'm just out in the open, so... That's not the right play. As useless as this guy has been. That's my fault, right? I'm the one commanding him. Alright. Everybody's drawing ammo. Get out with who we can. And... Regret everything else after that. It's a decent holding position for one turn. Oh, even better. It's like back here. And we'll yeah, cut through the back. Oh, she could, uh, she could stealth, I guess. Not really. It's too late. Wait, this, this doesn't cost an action. It really, for a med kit, let's just take a look at what it shows. Like the eyeballs and stuff. So it looks like they have to be pretty close to her. Is she faster in concealment? Is that a thing? I thought this would take two actions. Yeah, if it only takes one and we can move out, then that seems very worth. Moving as ordered. Oh. Oh, the loot from earlier? Yeah, I guess he did get that, didn't he? Okay, I thought it was his material. Um, Carrie would break concealment for sure. I remember that happening. We tried it earlier. Yeah, I'm gonna just hide on the, the rim of this. She's There's so many ways she can get to the evac point next turn that I'm not too worried about distance. I'm more worried about her getting caught out for whatever reason. As you order, Commander. Get Endo out of there. I mean, she can try to get them out, help get them out, but I just think that's going to get really silly. So, I could, not even a proper burial. Ah. That's just it, though. Yeah, we're not we're not fighting this. There's too many risks. They're all they're all set up. Get on out. If you were full, you'd take a shot. You're not. Just get on out. Getting out of here. Rip. No place for you to go now. It's gonna take two turns for Silvio to get out. But not chasing super actively, so we should be okay. They're being trying to be smart about it and just overwatch. Which is fine. Uh, can you chill? Alright. Where are you going? You trying to walk out the door? Where are you going? Sir. Oh, GG. If the Chosen was down, I would consider it a, a worthy sacrifice. But without that being the case, it's a, it's a tough sell. Ah, <sighs> just quick calculation. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That should be fine then. It's the safest position I can think of, and I think it's okay. And muscle away there. Affirmative. Yeah, I guess if she was slightly closer, she could be taking a shot on her way out, but... Now we get remote start? Blow up this little thing? 
Random gas tank? Nice idea, but no sir. No body, no nothing. Goodbye, sir. Covering ground. I'm coming home. All right, let's see what Sergeant Scaredy. I want to call him other words, but we'll keep it PG. Um, what happens with this fellow over here? I think Baldwin is uh, home free. Sylvia, on the other hand, is uh, far from it. Yeah, you can overwatch that. It's a, even a decent shot, but it's going to wound him at best, I think. Good to hear it. Alright, Baldwin. Run it in. Can't even because of that panic. He can't even get to good cover. He's gonna get closed in, pinned in from so many. There's no evac otherwise. Them's the brakes, I guess. Ah, <sighs> the game's highs and lows. We see a rat in a maze trying to fight his way out. Fight isn't the exactly the best word, but run and hide. GG. Plus five ability points for anybody, I guess. If I had known how his bubble worked and been able to take it out, I could have been in a much better position, I think. But I didn't know that. So I was trying to stall and hold. And end of the day, I get an MVP at close range. Taking the Warlock down. Got to get some props for that. That's not... What? Yeah, next button. There we go. He's been promoted, right? I think you probably need to mention somewhere on this recap that he fucking died. But, you know, we got his tile movement. So, congrats, dude. Silvio, K-I-A as well. Took, hit two shots, for what it's worth. In the end, I feel like a couple of our units were just too ineffective. We're basically playing three, a three-man squad instead of five, and that hurts. End of the day, we got a lot out of this mission. A lot to be proud of as well, taking down the Chosen. Showing that gods can bleed. But. It's a tough one. It's a tough one to stomach. It's a tough one to walk away from. Advent would like to assure all citizens that despite recent attacks and loss of life attributed to radical fringe elements, our peacekeeping forces continue to put your safety and security before all other priorities. <sighs> Off our planet, indeed. Soldiers, too. Maybe the elders hoped the chosen's constant jabbering would drive us to surrender without a fight.
When you're tired or hungry or just need a treat, Advent Burger, the place for meat. Solid eulogy as we say goodbye. Have a good one, Piachi. Seventy intel and an engineer. AP now. and a chosen. We should check with Resistance HQ for new recruits. All right. So if he helps with this, we can get our workshop up and running. And you thought I talked too much, Commander? How about these chosen, huh? Four days as opposed to six, seven. So fifty percent instead of maybe what I had hoped for, but it's all right. It's high priority we get that up and running. Alrighty. How do we recruit? What do we do? Is it just the the rumor stuff? No, there's this. We can we can purchase them for supplies, right? That's right. Alright. Well. You can bring one more in. Maybe two. Place where we lost. Can't learn too much about um, their stats. Uh, I guess it gets rolled in when we get them. Lorenzo looks like a badass. Let's try that. Another Italian on the squad. No, no uh, volunteers from Africa, huh? So be it. Bring in Anastasia Bogdanova. Call it good. Put one in the GTS. the specialist role. The other guy looks a little bit more uh, aggro than support. Says view soldiers because there's promotions in in store. Little wounded, unfortunately. It does pick up shadow strike when concealed. Plus 25 bonus aim. Plus 25 bonus critical hit. Coming out of concealment. Shadow step does not trigger Overwatch reaction fire. We'll go Shadow Strike. Seems like a good option. Clean Invis. Come out with a bang. Mox. Promotion in store, but we already learned that we're going to hold off on that. And, you know, this one's gone long enough. An hour and 40 minutes. I think we're going to hold off on the remaining details here. So we can begin to scout things out and uh, prepare our operations. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. All right, all right, got it. Okay. Does this expire? I guess we can see it here. Three days remaining, so we can we can pick up the black market first. See if there's anything there, and then go for the supply drop. Ah, oh, Warlock. I now absolutely hate this guy for what he brought about. There's going to be a personal vendetta with that one.
once we figure out how to kill these guys. But um, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. Thank you all for tuning in to formerly the Blaze Squad of XCOM. We'll have to see what happens with the boys, with the crew, with the fight against Advent on our next mission. Have a good night.